So before I presented a solution for the nursing home context, and this is the same, the previous one was more technological, let's say. Uh, this is another uh, solution that we thought that is more, uh, let's say, manual, right? So in this case, I will talk about the viability of magazines for simulating social interactions in nursing homes. I am presenting on behalf of my colleagues, uh, Marcos, unfortunately I couldn't get the visa, so uh, I have to present that we worked with him in the previous paper. And this is also work from Valentina and the professor Fabio Casato. So the context is the same. The, the, the findings uh, from the nursing home will be very similar. They also went there doing the same visits and some more to understand the social interactions, their characteristics, motivations, and obstacles in the nursing home context. So they visited six nursing homes. Uh, and they did a focal group more in detail about their concept that was more mature at this point. Uh, here I also go through the methods that are kind of similar, so the observations, the semi-structured interviews with the staff and the relatives, and the, the last part that is more di uh, different was the focus group because uh, they did it uh, in details about uh, uh, the findings that they have in the observations and in the interviews. So, so what they found out also is the things that I've, I've mentioned in the previous presentation. So the residents do not make friends is, a, is an issue because of course they don't have the chance to interact in this way with many people. It depends mostly on people who visit them. Uh, facilitating the interactions it relies heavily on the staff. So the staff has to find time and they have to ha find the opportunities. They have to be really uh, creative sometimes or, or have this uh, ability to manage the, the kind of uh, uh, opportunities that arise and profit them to make people more engaged. Uh, the interactions with the relatives are mostly centered around one family member. This is a family member that visits more often, also the, the primary caregiver. The grandchildren, unfortunately, do not visit very often, even if uh, older adults would really like to. Uh, and all the activities that are done in the nursing home uh, are stimulating, but they cannot be enough, let's say, to uh, involve all the, the stakeholders, including the family, peers in the nursing home, and also the staff. They also found, um, again, they have elements of reminiscence, like old pictures I've already mentioned. Uh, activities they do inside of the nursing home, for example, reading newspapers or uh, games in the magazines, like crossword puzzles. Uh, they use like boards where they publish um, activities that they are done currently, so visits, uh, birthday, so this is to keep informed the relatives that are visiting or also like to stimulate grandchildren that go so they, they have a, uh, some kind of uh, visual feedback. Uh, also they, they found that in the, in the private spaces and in the shared spaces they have like mementos from, from their relatives, uh, things that help them remember, like drawings for example, or things that they used to have at home. Uh, and they also have the possibility to uh, communicate with people. So there are these uh, spaces where they put, like, for example, computers where people can go and use Skype. Uh, this is a way to talk to their families, even if they don't own, for example, a smartphone or a computer by themselves. Uh, an important aspect is that uh, even if the, the computers are there, it's sometimes hard for them to use it. So usually you have uh, instructions on how to do it. So based on these findings, uh, <coughs> The idea that came up was to create a paper magazine for the residents. The idea is to have a custom paper printed magazine that will be generated semi-automatically with the aim of increasing the connectedness between the people there and their relatives and also promote, uh, promoting interactions inside the nursing home. So the idea of the magazine is to take basically contributions from the family that comes uh, from social networks and also it can be through bots in some applications like WhatsApp. This uh, contribution and combined with content from the web, for example, news uh, from the local newspaper. Then this content is uh, presented to an editor that will semi-automatically uh, choose the queries so he can get more content or he can refine what he got and then he can decide where this can be printed. The, the magazine, once it's settled, it will be printed in paper form and it will be distributed in the nursing home. And this, uh, we hope that will create topics of conversation and stimulate interactions uh, in the nursing home. Based on what we have observed in our interviews, we decided to include these sections in the nursing homes. Reminiscence is also about the past. Bulletin boards, that is about the facts and news uh, of things happening. News from the relatives is the contribution that comes from social networks so to let the people inside know what is happening on the outside from, from their relatives. 
Uh, the other side is to have the life in the nursing home section. So this is to show the relatives what is happening in the nursing home or what events the other adults are participating in. From the community is about uh, news from the, the city where they used to live or from the neighborhoods. And this includes, for example, obituaries or news uh, about the, uh, some things important for the community. So just a comment on the obituaries. Uh, this is a really uh, social activity in the nursing homes. They like to be updated on what happened to, to their friends or something. It's not, we, I'll get back on that later. Uh, and then uh, we also included the hobbies, so things that residents like to do, and connections to let them know what things they do. So this is just a demonstration of how the magazine uh, works. So you see that there are a few elements, but they are very big and visible, so this is hard to, to show also. And to validate the, the magazine, we did it with the a concept and concept validation. Also, uh, we did semi-structured interviews, first with the family and nursing home staff, and then we got feedback on a prototype because uh, it was easy to, let's say, uh, produce the paper version and then we show it there. So for the concept and validation, it was mostly general feedback. For the prototype, it was actually going through each section, explaining the objectives of the section and how it was going to be presented, and then getting a qualitative and quantitative feedback on a five point like Likert scale for the quantitative and qualitative uh, just by discussing with them. So to go very uh, briefly through the uh, results. For the concept, uh, basically the, the most important part is that the professional, it was positive. Uh, because it can be very well integrated in the activities they already do. Uh, the other findings, I invite you to read this in the paper. For the relatives, uh, we, we saw that uh, they thought it was beneficial, especially for those who cannot visit because it will allow them to have uh, a connection for, with the other adults by them seeing what they are doing and also the other way around by being able to, to take the, the magazine and show them uh, at home, for example. Uh, then, about the score, it was very positive, so we have an average of 4.1 four, four, four uh, score. And just mentioning that the lowest score was for the news, rated for the relatives, with a 3.6. They were concerned about the content that will be gotten automatically and will be shown, so they will be uh, a little worried and would like to have more uh, control on what, this can be, uh, what information can be shown, and they would like to give permission. And the highest score was on the hobbies, so finding things that people like to do, because this can also help the, peop, uh, the staff in the nursing home to program activities for them. Uh, the feedback on the design itself was uh, positive, because they, they said that the elements were visible, that it was nicely constructed, but it was scanned because uh, we didn't have many, I mean, too much time to go in details about what worked and didn't work about the design. So what we learned? We learned that uh, the magazines have the potential to encourage the social interactions. Uh, we know that it has been accepted because mostly it fits into the current practice, as we have seen. Uh, we have seen that it's important to have a connection. They say that uh, the magazine, even if uh, you read it by themselves, it's a way of connecting because you are aware of what people is doing. Um, we have to consider, though, like problems about the privacy and the visibility because uh, when we thought about automatically showing the content, this has to be regulated and we need permission from the people. Uh, and they mentioned that it was really helpful to have the digital support from the technologies to show the content. So the next step uh, for my colleagues is to actually take these uh, magazines that they can uh, are already able to produce and test them, uh, in, test them in pilots in the nursing home with residents and family using the magazine and seeing if this really sparks the interactions. Thank you very much. So for the magazine in particular, we didn't see this. For the previous one, uh, we did so that people were nervous about because they need to have a tablet, so would they understand, like will they be able to see the I think this is also because uh, they just never tried, right? So of course, like the magazine or newspaper, uh, 
paper pictures is easy. You have seen them, you, you take them the pictures, you discuss, so they can relate to the magazine. This is something they already do. With the tablet, they are a little skeptic that this can work with people that have very uh, diminished abilities in terms of visual impairments or, for example, also remember the things, right? What was the average length of stay for the people there? Are there people that are kind of bridging the kind of cognitive divide? It really, it, just get there when they it really depends. Mostly, uh, in, it's the case that it's the, on the last years, right? But this, this depends on the nursing home because some nursing homes are used, so this is what they told us, some nursing homes are used just like uh, when the hospital cannot take care anymore or the family cannot take it, you put the people there, unfortunately. Uh, and they, they, this is just like a passage and they really don't last long there, unfortunately. There are other nursing homes uh, that are, have more uh, better outcomes. So there's also a way that the, the province, let's say, regulates this so people know uh, the, the nursing home have a score and then average on how will it last. So some people take them like for rehabilitation, but this is also done for the province, so it really depends. Uh, there's a bit of everything. Right, so the magazine is uh, a short magazine, right? Uh, so they, they can just skim through. We also, like I said before, also we, we think this is going to be a guided uh, activity, right? So we don't, some uh, older adults, of course, will be, will be able by themselves to go through it. For others, this is an activity that is done inside the nursing home. For example, reading the newspaper is already an activity. So they take the real newspaper and then they just go through, they comment, like the, the staff comments something important. Uh, about the obituaries, like I said, uh, this is, the relatives, for example, told us it's really strange to have this, right? So they were concerned, like, why? This is kind of sad. Why would you put something like this? But for the older adults themselves, it was really important. So they already do it. Uh, and th this is something that uh, is strange maybe for us, but they, they like. So they want to know what happened, like, for example, with their friends or the people that are outside. So it's like, the, ah, you know, this, this person passed away. So, and they maybe want to go to, to the funeral or something. So it's, uh, sorry? So we didn't uh, ask it to the, relative, uh, to the residents themselves. The relatives were concerned that it might be sad. From the staff, and we know that they already do this, and they ask about this. So this is the feedback we have. 